We're talking about tread design today. I'm here with Dwayne from the uh, Yokohama booth at the SEMA show. And I wanted to do is have you walk us through the design. What are There's all these different things on a tire we've seen. A lot of people think it's just to make it look pretty. But how are... So let's just, take, let's just jump right in. Sure. And this is the uh, Advent Sport. Mm -hmm. So walk through some of... What are some of the features on here? And why do I have grooves like this and other ones? Yep. Believe it or not, you know, you look at a tire and you go, okay, wow, it's black and round. It's got little things on it. How could it be different? There are so many variables and so much time and effort goes into it. Um, so just kind of going through this, the, all these grooving, all, what we call circumferential grooves, they go around the, the diameter of the tire and all of that's to expel water, basically. Right. It can be a tire they can use and drive, you know, it's not a dedicated track tire. Right. Little things like this, like these little curvatures and whatnot, actually is done a lot for what's called NVH, noise vibration harshness. And that's testing that each tire manufacturer does. And a lot of things go into it where, you know, a little cut there makes it a lot quieter. Believe it or not, that's what works. Um, this tire is... Is, uh, is that because kind of preventing, like, air rushing in? Is that air rushing in that's making that noise? Right, when you hear those big mutter tires so on, a, almost, on a truck. It's almost a muffler type of effect probably at times, sure. right? Sure, yeah. Yeah, we can definitely use that. Um, this tire was on Bentley on the... Uh, Continental, and so you know, that's a huge car, it weighs a lot, and someone spent a lot of money. They don't want to be hearing road noise. Right. So a lot of design goes into the tire. So now what about a design over here? I've got sure. much bigger chunks. Yes. It's much more directional. Yes. Here we're moving more towards the performance. Okay. Um, and basically you've got these large shoulder blocks, which are, all, you know, when you're turning, you're going to be touching, moving over, making a lot of contact. Again, a lot more surface area. The closest you can get to a, a full slick racetrack tire is going to be better as far as performance. Not so ideal in the rain, but uh, so the more rubber you can have touching the ground, that's what we're looking for. But okay. again, the same groove is to, so it is very, very capable. But you don't water. have the, you don't have these, which means this might right. be a noisier tire. Correct. This will be a noisier tire, um, and it was. But at the same, you know, you got to pick what you want. And uh, this one, it's definitely going to be um, very nice, crisp turn in. Um, the other thing you'll notice. This tire has it's more square edges, right. um, and this will actually you'll it'll pull you into corners, and you'll you'll feel it, and just boom, you're you're just that's right turn, there, turn turning super crisp because it's got a nice, it's almost square like. Where you'll see other tires, their designs like run off. With race tires, they'll be oh, it's just wham, completely it's like, square, but that makes exactly. it harsher and noisier. It does. It, it work, There's a bunch of things going on there, but mainly uh, on race tires and, and or very ultra high performance tires, you're looking for performance. That's your number one concern. So and now, if we go if we go kind of extreme, moving down, you know, moving down towards the end, down to like the autocross type tire. Again, this is much more square design. Yes, very square. I mean, it's just right on the edge. Um, so you know, SUVs like this is our SUV tire, our uh, Advan ST. And what's going on here is you need these big meaty shoulder blocks because the cars weigh so much that they need to have a nice contact patch making the ground. Other weird things that go on in tire production that, that we don't take it, when we work with some of our, our car, car companies, our original equipment manufacturers, right. um, there's, they have requirements about static charge. Um, how much static charge a tire I've noticed can some produce. cars I get out of, you get shocked it, easier. Exactly, and they have requirements that it only produces X amount of static charge because it's it's a concern of theirs, all that stuff, you know. So, you know, it's not just that look and, and the tire that's on your car is designed with the whole car in mind. So when you're making changes, you're going to have to think about that. So one more bit I want to cover. Yeah. These are for snow, correct? Correct. This is the Advan S4. It's our all-season tire. And these little cuts in the tire are its a biting edge when it's going into snow. And so it's what's called siping, and you'll see like snow tires will have a ton of them. Right. And that's just, again, to give it a biting edge, give it, get it somewhere to go in the snow. But if it's really, if it's coming down to like that snow on snow friction, which is where you're getting the traction, mm -hmm. isn't it? So this will help get that initial bit of snow? Exactly. You want It's kind of like a, an ice skate where you've got, you know, you're getting that little bit of water in between, and so you just want to get down to the next level so you're not sliding around. Gotcha. Excellent.